Hi there, in my last video I machined one of the flywheels and uh, I machined the other one off camera and uh, I thought I'd then move on to something like the ignition uh, but having thought about it I thought it might be worthwhile doing a short video on the uh, flywheel split collet so in this video I'm going to uh, machine one of the flywheel split collets so the split collets are made out of a piece of leaded steel which machines really nicely um, so my plan is to put this in uh, a collet chuck on the lathe and uh, I'll face the end off then I'll drill and ream to uh, 3 eighths of an inch and then I'll cut this 6 de degree, this six degree angle um, now I, I did sort of think ahead a little bit when I was machining the flywheels um, and I actually left the compound slide set at 6 degrees so when I machine these hopefully they'll be a perfect fit to fit inside the flywheel. Having cut the taper then I'll uh, take the collet chuck off the lathe and uh, I'll move it over to the mill and I'll uh, drill the three holes which match the three holes here that I tapped um, using the circle function um, or the bolt circle function and uh, these need to be uh, 4x40 clear and on these, there are another couple of holes here which need to be drilled and tapped to 4 by 40 And the reason for those is, if you ever need to remove the flywheel, um, you undo the three bolts and then you can screw in a couple of bolts here and they'll sort of like pull the uh, collet um, off the flywheel. So that's the idea. So here I'm machining one of the flywheel collets and I've got the lathe in reverse and I managed to uh, retain the angle of my compound slide uh, for when I did the flywheels so hopefully these will be a perfect match So the idea is to take the taper down so that when the flywheel fits on it you've got a gap there of 25 thou. And that looks spot on to me. So I've decided to drill the bolt circle while it's still held in this collet chuck. I can't get in with the centre drill so I'll just have to uh, risk it. I'll do the rest off camera and then I'll part it off on the lathe. Well they seem to have turned out okay. I just cut the slit manually with a hacksaw. That one's not too bad. I could have kicked myself on that one, it's just slightly out. But I don't think it matters that much, it's just a visual thing. And uh, that's the idea behind them. So what I've decided to do is uh, I'm going to cut a keyway on this bit of test bar and uh, I'm going to fit one of the flywheels on it at the time and just check for run out and if there is any run out I'm just going to try and uh, correct it so I've centred this piece of 3 eighths of an inch silver steel in this four jaw chuck and now I'm going to uh, just use this centre drill to put a recess in the end
So I've extended the bar out of the four jaw chuck and I've uh, made some slight adjustments again. So that's looking spot on. Well, I've cleaned all the surfaces up. Well that looks pretty good, run out only about four thou. Uh, but I might still have a go at tidying the sides up to uh, make it spot on. Just managed to get in there. So while it's on here, I uh, can do a bit of cleaning up with this uh, wet and dry, and uh, short sleeves required. So this is the other flywheel. There. Twenty thou out. Don't know how that's happened. Especially when the, the other one was about two or three thou out. Uh, but anyway, I'll have to tidy the uh, the sides up, and uh, I'll do it in the same way as I did the other one. And uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Not looking bad now. Well, that was a bit traumatic. I can't believe that one of these was 20 thou out. Um, the last thing you want is a wobbly wheel. But anyway, I managed to uh, recover the situation and uh, I hope you like the results so far and I hope to see you later. <laughs>